everybody, market update time, woo, yes. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about forbearance in today's video. Are all of those forbearance homes going to cause a market crash similar to what we had in 2008? I am sure you've been hearing this all over from everywhere. So what do you think? Do you have an opinion? Certainly seems like everyone has opinion on this issue, even if they aren't in the real estate market, but especially if they lived through the 2008 crash. Not a fun time to be in real estate or, or trying to sell a seller buy a home back then. Hey there, my name is Dana Weiss. I'm part of the Ingle Group of Brevard team brokered by eXp Realty here in gorgeous Melbourne, Florida. And so we're gonna be talking market update next. So now, even though I do have an opinion, I also like to rely on the experts to tell us what's really going on. There's so much hype on the news, it is hard to believe anything, right? What's real, what isn't real. But as of February 14th, the Mortgage Bankers Association has information on this forbearance crisis. And the good news is that it looks like we're actually in pretty good shape. 84% of people who entered into forbearance at the beginning of the pandemic are either out of it or working their way through it by setting up repayment plans. That 84% is made up of approximately 51% who are just paid in full, no longer even in forbearance, okay? So that's great. And then approximately 34% have worked out a repayment plan. So they have a plan in shape, they're, they're going to be okay, right? That only leaves around 16% who are still in trouble. So if you're worried about real estate at all, it's really important to understand what's happening with forbearance. Here's something you can sound smart about with all your friends who think they know it all. The numbers since May are continuing to go down. And as of now, there are only 5% all mortgages that are in forbearance. So we keep hearing all this information in the news about how we're gonna crash because forbearance is so high. Every realtor who has a YouTube channel has posted a video on this subject, right? Because it's it's just, it's a hot topic right now. But the thing is, when you look at the true facts, this just isn't true. Get this, for 2021, according to all of the experts out there, and I mean all of them, they are forecasting an increase of nearly 6% on average for appreciation and home values for 2021. So think about that with this crazy seller's market that we're in right now. I'm going to say that again so you don't have to jump back. Home prices are escalating nearly 6% on average across the country. With 6% being the average, that means much higher in some areas and then much lower in other areas. But for the most part, people who bought last year at one price are seeing major jumps in their home's value this year. So I, I have one friend who just bought their home back in November and their value has jumped almost 15%. But that isn't necessarily normal. So now I, I know what you're probably thinking, okay? <laughs> because of those home price jumps, couldn't the market crash because of home prices increasing so quickly? Not forbearance. Well, I'm sure you've seen those doom and gloom headlines or those videos too. If you haven't seen them, then you just haven't been paying attention. Let's look at it this way. If we compare the average price in home appreciation between like say 2002 to 2005 before the big 2008 crash, the annual average appreciation was over 10%. I think it was like 10.3 or something like that. So the average is, is this 10%. So numbers are way higher than we're seeing in this current market. Now, if you look at it now, let's say 2017 to 2020, before what's happening now, the average annual appreciation for home prices is only 6%, which is drastically less. So even though it may not seem like it, we're actually in a very, very different situation today. And the bottom line, guys, is that it's easy to listen to the news and get sucked into the scare, but it seems like there's a lot of hype and negativity going around around what's actually happening and it's not based on the actual facts. So before you go believing what you hear, make the wise choice. Give us a call at Dana Wise Homes. We'd love to help educate you um, about the market, what's going on. If you've got any questions or thinking about buying or selling, or maybe you know someone who is, please give us a call. Do you want to know more about Melbourne specifically? Watch more videos at Melbourne Florida Living. We'll see you next video. 